The president of Women Arise for Change Initiative and the Campaign for Democracy, Dr. Joe Oke Odumakin, has reiterated the need for a posthumous declaration of MKO Abiola as a past president of Nigeria. Joe Odumakin emphasized this in an exclusive interview with Plus TV Africa. We lost the man and the mandate. We lost the woman. They've been given the highest honor, M. Kabela, GCO, and but we still want the June 12th election results. We want it to be gazetted. After that, the night assembly is a challenge to them. Should gazette it, on from what we still alive, but there should be a posthumous declaration of MK Abiola as a past president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If that is done, we see the portraits of past president. MK Abiola's portrait should be there, and all his entitlements should be paid to the family. The women's rights activist said it's important for Nigerians to imbibe the spirit of June 12 and what the day stands for. We need to imbibe that spirit of June 12. We all wanted June 12 to be Democracy Day. Yes, the federal government has said June 12 will be on Democracy Day instead of May 29. Describing what MKO Abiola stood for while alive, Joe Udumakin said the winner of the June 12 presidential election severely fought for the abolition of poverty. Abiola was stupendously rich, a philanthropist, but he was for abolition of poverty, the motto of the SDP, the slogan. And seen someone like that. Even while he was in detention, a lot of people wanted him to sacrifice, to leave the mandate, to forget it. Uh, and Kabila refused. So a lot of qualities endeared me to Bula.